Hi, I'm Molly. One common question we get asked is how do I share my D-Rack with two S-Series consoles? Unlike the D2 rack, the D-Rack only has one connection port on it. So how do you connect it to two consoles? Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so. Firstly, you'll need some equipment. Two S-Series consoles, a D-Rack stage box, two DMI MADI C cards, one fitted to each console, a little red box, plus some Cat5e cables to connect the system up. The little red box is a handy solution that allows one of our Cat5 connected racks or a BNC MADI connected rack to be shared between any two of our consoles with MADI C connectivity. Let's start connecting everything together. The DMI MADI C cards have two internal switches, one for each port. Make sure that on both cards, both switches are in position A, console mode. Install the DMI MADI C cards into the consoles, making sure that the consoles are off when you do so. Next, connect the D-Rack to the port on the little red box labelled D-Rack in out. It's important to check the position of the switch on the little red box. In MADI mode, the rack connected to the BNC MADI ports will be shared between the two consoles. We want to split the D-Rack between the consoles, so make sure that the switch is in the split position. The little red box is powered by 5 volts USB, so it could be powered by a USB A to B cable plugged into the back of your S-Series console, or a 5 volt wall adapter. Now to connect the consoles. When sharing a rack, one of the consoles must be in full control mode and the other in receive only or RX only mode. This means that one console will have control over gains, phantom powers, pads and what's being sent to the outputs on the rack. For the console you want in full control mode, connect port 1A of the DMI MADI C card to the full connect port on the little red box. Next. Connect the port labelled RX only to port 1A of the DMI MADI C card on the other console. Now that everything is plugged in, there are a couple of settings in the console that need checking. We need to make sure that the console connected to the full connect port is in full connect mode and that the console connected to the receive only port is in receive only mode. On the full connect console, Enter the input route page from a channel and select the D-Rack. You may be prompted to press the conform rack button here. On the right hand side, make sure that the port control mode is set to full. This means that the console will have control over gains, phantom power, pads and the outputs. On the second console, navigate to the same page and set the port control mode to receive. Notice how the colour of the gain on the channels routed from this rack have now turned orange and can no longer be changed. This is because we're in receive only mode, so can't send any control messages to the rack. One feature you may want to enable on the receive only console is gain tracking. With gain tracking on, the console will listen to any mic amp gain changes made by the other console and compensate for these changes by increasing or decreasing the digital trim by the same amount in the opposite direction. This means that if the other engineer needs to change the gain, it won't affect the level of your mix. Gain tracking can be turned on in the channel setup view. So that's it, sharing a D-Rack between two S-Series consoles. If you're watching this live and have any questions, put them in the comments section and I'll be here to answer them. For more videos on how to get the most out of your S-Series console, subscribe to our YouTube channel.